Uh, namaste. Today we are going to do Pinchamayurasana. Okay. So Pinchamayurasana means the feather of the peacock pose. Normally we call it as the forearm balance. Now the teaching of the class will be revolving around this feather of the peacock. So the feather of the peacock, the distinguishing feature of it, first of all, is beautiful. Yeah, the feather, the tail of the peacock is beautiful. Its feather is beautiful. Of the beauty is its the design, which is, looks like an eye, the eye of the feather of the peacock, that gives a beauty. So that is the context of the teaching of our practice today. Okay. So. Keeping that in the background, now we look at another question. Do we consider our life important? Okay, let's, maybe we, we do consider our life important. Now consideration is one thing. Second, what we are looking is, do we give importance to our life? So do we give importance to our life? This can be viewed from different points. Some people will say, of course, I do give importance to my life. That's why I eat well, exercise well. I want to live long. I, w I value my life. But we are looking at it from another point of view. We have to first look at what is life. So in one perspective, life is the flow of experiences. Life is experiences. And at any point of time, your life is the experience you're having at that point of time. Okay. So whatever experience you're having now is your life. Are you okay? Life is experience. So in the same way, experience is life. So at any point of time, the experience you're having is your life at that point of time. Now we look at the question, are you giving importance to life? Are you giving importance to the experience which is unfolding in that moment? When we say like that, many of us do not give importance. We are lo looking only at that long life and healthy life, but not in the context of life as experience. Okay, so at any point of time, that experience is our life, and are we giving importance to that experience? Now, the teaching is, if you give importance to that experience, it's as to that experience unfurls like the peacock's tail feather. And it's like the eye in that experience opens. And you see the beauty of that experience. You make that experience a pincha mayura. It becomes the feather of the peacock, the beautiful feather of the peacock. So that is our practice. So whether we can make each experience of our life like unfurling the feathers of the peacock and whether we can make our entire life like the tail of the peacock. Our whole life are different experiences and whether we can open up the eye in each experience so that entire life is beautiful. Peacock, peacock's tail, okay? Now, this is nice in, co in concept difficult in practice. Because if it's something, if the experience you're having is a wonderfully entertaining experience, the eye in the experience naturally opens wide because there is entertainment, there is fun, or there is profit. The eye opens up very well. But if there is no entertainment, there is no profit, the eye in the experience shuts, okay? But in that moment, Bodem is the experience, and saying so, Bodem is life, in that point of time. We have to really break it down to that. Experience is life, and whatever experience you're having at that point of time, that is life. So if it's Bodem, or if it's anger, or if it's sadness, at that point of time, that is life. And can we give importance to that? In the same way we say we have to give importance to life. Can we give importance to that experience, which might be boredom, anger, etc.? And maybe the I in that experience might open up. The I in the boredom might open up. And that is like wisdom. There is a, we, we understand it. 
there is a beauty in anger. There is a beauty in ugliness. There is a beauty in disgust. The eye in that experience opens up. Then it becomes a peacock feather. Okay. So the entire practice is is trying to um, inspire us to make our whole life uh, a pinchamayurasana practice. And when you do posture practice too, we have some a shape of the pinchamayurasana, which is that forearm balance, but. Most of us, for us, the most exciting moment of that forearm balance pose is when? When you're up there. When you're up there on your forearms, whether I can balance, whether I'll fall off, whether I can hold longer, whether I can be straighter. And most of us, our eye opens only in that point of time. So the practice is Pinjamayurasana is the moment you conceive of it. You're already giving attention to that you're giving importance to that. You place the forearms down, you have to make that feathers of the peacock, the hands, the fingers, everything become a feather as you give importance to that. The eye of the forearm opens up, how, how it works. The upper arms, we give importance to that, how it has to move, the shoulder blades, how the serratus engage, it is like feathers of the peacock. Okay? And then we also need the rhomboids to work like that. Each part, each, each movement becomes um, a, a pincha, a feather of the mayura, okay? So, towards that we practice, okay? Namaste.